Hello everyone and welcome to Canine Dentistry. This is the first of a series of eight sections in this course and we are going to start with the introduction to clinical dentistry. These defects are deep, they're not very wide. So we don't need a huge access flap to get into that defect. And this one's not deep enough where we even need to make incisions mesial and distal. We can see down into the depth of the defect and if we can see down in and we can access with our instruments, we don't need to, to create that huge exposure. If you see a defect like this where there's erythema, but you can take a periodontal probe in here, but you don't get any probing depth, there's something here that's causing that. And generally what you're going to find if you open that tissue, you're going to find that there's, there's bone loss here. A case for extraction, but this is not going to be an easy extraction. You don't have a distinct period on the ligament space around this portion of the tooth and a very thin period on the ligament space otherwise. So when you see that, we're approaching or at ankylosis. Ankylosis certainly in this area, so that's not an easy extraction. But radiographically, we can see that there's a lucency that's extended fairly significantly in that rostral mandibular bone and encompassing the canine tooth root. We can also see on the other side that we have a abnormal first premolar, abnormally shaped first premolar, surrounded by a halo. Reason, the number five most common reason for running into obstacles in, in the dentistry service was we, we just don't know where to start. We don't know how to structure our day. We don't know um, how to efficiently take um, our patient from induction to recovery. Uh, how do we schedule for that? You know, if we're taking full mouth radiographs, it's going to take us a lot longer to schedule. You know, a lot of these were questions that led to this being number five. You've got everything that you need resource-wise to carry your practice forward to the next level. And I hope that if you have any questions that you'll feel free to contact me. I'm always ready to help practices get to that next level. Uh, that's my mission is to get all practices practicing veterinary dentistry at the level of standard of care. And we're, we're getting there. It's just taking, uh, taking it one step at a time.